So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our video of the Samsa chart. And today we're going to be covering Sun in the ninth house of your the Samsa chart. As in what happens when Sun is sitting in the ninth house of your D10 the Samsa, which is known as the obligation to society in a person's life, which is known as the, you know, the work that a person does and how that work comes out and what is it that, you know, the world reacts to the work that you do. So that's what we're going to discuss. And as always, if you do not know, if you have this particular position, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, all the other logical details for that, check out the links here. Check out my full astrological report, including my books, consultations, and link to my academy, my Gavitic Shaji Academy. And also, remember, I'm also on uh, now odyssey.com as well. So anyway, uh, sun in the ninth house. So sun in the Samsha represents the reputation of an individual. It represents the status of an individual. And ninth house represents the mentors, you know, at your work, the people who guide you regarding any work that you do. So it may not necessarily be somebody in the office. It could be somebody you just look up to, let's say in media, and they somehow help you. So it shows what type of people you attract. And with Sun, naturally we see that you will, first of all, always be guided by extremely powerful people, father-like figures. And especially your status will greatly be dependent upon your divinity. And <laughs> I have seen people who keeps struggling in life. And once I've found this particular theme out, I've always asked, so what are your religious views? Do you do any spiritual practices, religious practices? What is your, you know, belief in the higher and the divine? And those people would either be agnostic or atheists. And what happens here, because sun is in the ninth house, and because of the fact your belief is not there in the ninth house, the status of a person, the reputation of a person then suffers. So this is one very simple trick that you can literally probably find result in nine days or actually five days. If you're an atheist with this particular son in the ninth house and if you just go and like, you know, give any little bit of gratitude or just in your meditation, try to connect that, hey, please, Help me, my divine father, my divine mother, to help me understand you. I know I'm ignorant. Ignorant. If you just even give a little bit of try, you will see how the sun starts becoming active. Because the light of the sun becomes dim with the uh, amount of divinity you have or, the, or lack thereof. The more you infuse that, the more the bulb becomes brighter. And, <clears throat> and naturally, this person will be put into an authoritative place uh, or authoritative position in their life. You yourself are the person who becomes mentor to other people at work at one point. Now, this doesn't mean everybody becomes a mentor because some people just are regular workers and they don't really have that guidance for other people except to train them on whatever they have done. But then there are people with that absolute wisdom of how to get ahead in the company. You become that particular individual with the sun. And this is why you will also create a lot of enemy out of jealousy and ego in a large organization. But sun in the ninth house will produce many, many subordinates under you. You will be highly uh, regarded with your subordinates, regardless of how the sun is. Now, if let's say Sun is in a cruel position, then what happens is one naturally either gets misguided by mentors where their ego gets risen or one will always attract people who have such high egos that you get turned off by them. And because of the Sun's placement in the ninth house shows one's fame recognition rises as soon as they travel far away from where they were born. 
But mainly what we see here is that the higher your divinity is, the higher your, you know, enthusiasm. And you don't even have to believe just in enthusiasm towards wanting to know things on the subtle plane. Because an atheist is simply going by the five senses. And that's why they can't see anything. They can, That's why they can't believe in anything. That's why they, that gravity of faith is, you know, very low. But this sun is like a the easiest remedy actually for one's career is to start understanding that could there be not even there is could there be a more subtle world beyond these five senses? Am I being ignored towards it? Let me find out. Let me actually just see. Let me actually do certain procedures to see if I get anywhere. And you will see how your reputation rises in career. And when that happens, you will see automatically your divinity will rise. Okay. So anyway, guys, this was my analysis of Sun in the Ninth House for the Samsa chart. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below so you don't miss this type of videos. And if you want to know where your Sun is placed, all your logical details, check out the links here. Otherwise, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.